Hey everyone, it's Lyle with Blissimoto, and I'm working from home today, so welcome to my home. Behind me is my shelf and my poster. So today we're going to be going over the new Volk Audio in helmet speakers uh, for $59.99. Can't really beat them. They're really, really good. I'm sorry, $54.99. They're really good speakers, and I've already been using them, and they're great, okay? I would not tell you they're not great if they weren't. Um, high quality materials, we don't see that much anymore. So yeah, you can go and go ahead, go on eBay, buy the $10 kit, and you'll be disappointed. How do I know? I already bought them. So, um, package is real nice. You open up the packaging, you get a nice foam insert that actually holds the speakers, which I have right now, and a box of accessories. So, um, you already have the, the little Velcro discs that are 3M backing. Then the speakers themselves are have the Velcro in the back. They use a flat cable, so they are, have a very low profile in the helmet. And then it comes with a longer cord, a little clip, which actually is on these at first. I moved it over to my cable because that's just how I like my helmet, my, my gear to set up in a specific way. Inside the box, we also have more of the little fit kits for um, putting in helmets. And we've got spacers. The spacers are nice and soft. So if you're using a spacer, so when you put your helmet on, you can actually have these sitting directly on your ear. Uh, whether or not you use the spacers is up to you. It's gonna be a matter of comfort and fit in the helmet. Um, not all helmets are built the same, not all heads are built the same, so it's gonna be a little different no matter what you do, okay? Um, but it does come with uh, four spacers uh, to cover pretty much any need you might have. I don't think most of us use more than two if we're gonna use them one, one on each side. And you can, of course, you got Plenty more of these, so you could set up a couple different hel couple helmets uh, if you want. So you have the ability to set up more than one helmet, so you're ready to go. We just take the speaker out and switch it around. Okay, so there is two ways to install these. The first way is the the correct what I would call the the most permanent mounting. Not that any of this is permanent because none of it is. You use the foam the little Velcro disc with the 3M backing. You take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and you clean the surface that you're gonna attach it to. You peel this off and you stick it on. Let the alcohol dry, alcohol dry first. Now, these go in your helmet in the speaker pocket. Yes, your helmet has a built-in speaker pocket. Almost every helmet on the market today has a built-in speaker pocket. Now, and thank God for that because I like my music when I ride. You know, and if you, and now if you do a car, uh, communication system, you already know about that pocket. And that's another cool feature about these. They're actually com uh, compatible with a lot of your uh, communication uh, units. And they have, the quality is phenomenal with these. So they're a worthwhile upgrade on the ones that work. Check the website for what these will fit on, okay? They've already done the research, they know what they fit. Um, connection is a standard 3.5 millimeter plug. Uh, so if you're using your iPhone for your, or a uh, more recent Samsung, or whatever have you that has like the little flat type plug, you're gonna need your dongle adapter to plug into this so you can use your phone. So just be aware that that's something extra you're gonna need. Most of your phones come with them and you can buy them pretty cheap just off Walmart or, or whatever, you can buy a pack of them. Okay, so to the mounting. Now, every helmet's a little different, okay? And I got two helmets to show you uh, the difference in mounting. Um, I'm gonna show you first Icon Balskar 2. Uh, this is an air flight helmet. Now, it's hard to see because it's dark in your helmet. I'm gonna try to use a flashlight, so hopefully it doesn't you know, completely wash everything out. If you look right where the beam is showing, like right there, right there, see that? Now, in, in your helmet, you will see a round divot right there at the, at the cheek padding. It's right between where your head padding comes in and the ear, There's a re it's actually like like here and here, right there in your helmet space, there will be a round circle. And it's in the foam. It's on, um, like I said, it's on every helmet. And right there is where you would put your speakers, okay? On this helmet, 
um, there's fabric in the way. So I can feel the pocket back there, and I guess that they expect me to just put my speakers behind that into the divot, which is what I would do. I would use this, put that in the round circle, and then put my speaker on top of that, and then I would have this little bit of stuff right here. I would just pull it down and out of the way like that, and so the speakers, bam, right there, okay? So that's how I'm going to, I, will, I would install them in this helmet. Now, Sometimes we, you don't have that option where you have the nice nice divot where you can get to it. And so you're gonna to have to use what I would call the less permanent mounting solution, which is simply just using the Velcro that already exists on the back of these and putting it straight to your liner. Um, my Suomi uh, SR Sport, it is a race helmet. It's an amazing helmet. I love this helmet, but it doesn't really have nice form divots in the foam. The divots are actually a hard part of the uh, lower cheek pad section, or rear cheek pad section. And let's see if we can get a light on that. Uh, okay. It's gonna be hard to see it, but it's right here, the section right here, okay? And that, you can actually feel the round shape right there, so you know that's where it's supposed to go. Now in this helmet, the, the, the cheek pads and all that are long pieces that lock into the, into the um, interior. So you don't have the, the great foam divot to be using these. So you're just gonna take the Velcro and stick it straight to it. I'm gonna do that install right now. Now every helmet's slightly different, but they're all basically the same. On every helmet, you have a, your liner has gaps. Like we have the, this bottom liner here is nice and stretchy and gap. And then, um, you can actually, right here, spacing between the, coming back here on the, on the, on the uh, rear of the head and of the, of, my, of the liner. And what you're gonna do is that's where you're gonna run your cables. You're gonna run your cables into the gaps. That way your cables have a natural place to go. And that's why the cables are flat. Now, install. Okay, so you have the long leg and you have the short leg, okay? You want the plug. Short leg, one of the short leg, we have the double plugs. This is your left speaker. This is your right. So, left of my helmet, right of my helmet. This is left. So left side, just goes right in. I'm just gonna stick it right on the, the, uh, the that divot in the cheek pad, in the back of the cheek pad. And then I'm gonna take my cables, there we go. I'm going to take the cable and I'm going to put it into this channel right here. Okay? And then the other speaker goes other side and I'm going to put all the cable up underneath this piece right here in that section. Okay? And that's where all my spare cable is going to go. So, got that one in. And there's the other one. Put them on top of each other. There's one and there's two. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my extra cable here. I'm just gonna tuck it underneath. Now, every helmet is slightly different. On this one, I don't have a, a cheek pad that comes all the way down to the bottom. I have this liner here instead. So this is gonna have to hang like this, okay? You can put it through there. Now this is where you can use your clip and you can have it you know, clip right here on your helmet so that it's, that's right there, it doesn't move. Like I said, setup is entirely up to you. This is how I wanna run my gear because for me, having the cable in a nice locked in position on my jacket's more important than this. Just just how I wanna do things. So find what works best for you, then go with that, all right? Okay, so you're gonna test fit it. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put it on. And you're gonna feel exactly where your speaker set. And you're gonna know. 
Now, right now, my speakers are actually above my ears. So I want to move them down a little bit to get them in a slightly better position. One. And two. All right. And, and like, you notice that I don't have the helmet attached right here when I'm doing this. That this is because this is, you're not going riding yet, you're setting it up. Do a quick on and off test, make sure everything stays where you where you want it. Yeah. Gonna have to slightly change position of this one side. It moved a little bit. Okay. No, oh, I moved the other one too. This is why the more permanent mounting solution is better. When you're doing it with quick and dirty, like I am on this helmet, your ears will bump it off sometimes. It's not a big deal, it's an irritation. Just fix it and move on and enjoy your tunes, all right? So, here we have our speaker, my chin strap. So I'm gonna do my chin strap up first because I'm wearing a helmet and I want this out of the way. Okay, so now we have our speaker code here. Now, your audio source you're gonna to prefer to use is whatever it's gonna be. I'm gonna use my an old school iPod. So, put my jacket on. Pull up my iPod. Plug into iPod. Got that back in my pocket. Now the reason why I use the old school iPod is a remote control, in case you're wondering. Now this, you can either just let it sit in front of your front of your jacket, it's fine. However you want to run it, run it. You know, um, I will probably run this actually in the back of my jacket when I set this thing up permanently. And you just reconnect, like that. I'm going to stick my extra in the pocket, extra cable in the pocket, and now it's Run it through the jacket, nice and secure. And yes, that's my cat. She, she likes to make sure she gets heard. That's it. That's all there is to it. So, like I said, very simple install. Most helmets are the same. Slight differences from helmet to helmet. Don't forget to disconnect. That's why it's good to have it on the front. So you're like, oh, duh. I actually pulled it out because I didn't have it set in a nice, more permanent solution. I will come up with a better solution for this particular helmet. The way this helmet's designed, it's not really meant for speaker use. So that is something you gotta consider. If you don't have a good solid pocket like the Icon has, um, but most helmets do, like most helmets I've seen do, just this one doesn't. Um, Thanks for guys' time, and uh, y'all keep uh, at least one, one wheel of rubber down on the ground. Apparently she needs me. Later, guys.